one of the important things about oncology is to demystify that it is an incurable disease. The community level, they still have some certain beliefs regarding cancer. And there are those who can't believe that cancer can be treated at the hospitals. Therefore, by having diagnosed 12 cancer, they usually opt to go for the traditional errors. Two thirds of the patients who present to us are the ones who actually are living in the rural facilities where information about cancer is barely available to them. In the past, uh, patients used to use the word kuchoma mionzi, which means treating with radiation therapy. And this led to the misconception that radiation therapy was actually a kind of burning or a heat that was used to treat the tumors. Uh, unfortunately, many patients would refuse radiation therapy or would not come for treatment if it was suggested. Cancer detected early is not only curable, but if we understand it, it is can there are some cancers which are preventable. Until about five years ago, we only had a handful of uh, specialists in oncology in the country, and all of these were trained abroad. In 2010, the University of Mohas introduced a training program in oncology, uh, and this has helped to bring in in-house oncologists. We also have an extensive health education program at Ocean Road. You will notice if you visit us that we have specifically two areas where health education is given. One in the outpatient department every morning, where general information about cancer care and prevention and management of cancer symptoms is given by a clinician. And one in the radiation therapy department specifically by radiation therapy staff, where we inform them about what radiation therapy does, what are the expected side effects and how to deal with them. The East African Development Bank came up with this program of actually cascading uh, cancer knowledge to the districts. And this became very helpful to us. And because of the uh, sensitivity of uh, the disease and the fact that people have got uh, very minimal knowledge on cancer, this uh, program will be of huge profit because then we'll be able to go down to the districts, go down to the villages and inform patients or inform people on the significance of detecting cancer early so that they can be referred to the specialist centres for treatment. We know that by 2030, 70% of cancer deaths are going to be in low and middle income countries. Um, and we know that patients in these countries, such as these four East African countries that we are working with, um, have worse cancer outcomes. And this is because people present later, people are diagnosed later, people are referred later, and the, the capacity to treat these patients is always um, not optimal. So these courses are going to play a hugely important role in um, helping our colleagues um, raise the index of suspicion of a cancer diagnosis and know when to promptly refer to colleagues who will be able to diagnose expediently and, and treat them. Participating in this uh, teaching programme is not just about the, the teaching of the course. We meet a great number of people, both uh, senior doctors who are faculty and also the junior doctors who are teaching. And we've tried very hard to stay in touch um, both for, for mutual support and also to find opportunities to help with developments. This is the radiotherapy machine and we use it for treating different tumours, different cases and uh, we can treat different cases at different angles. Uh, in fact, the machine can rotate 360 degrees. So for different cases like uh, cervical cancer, you can treat AP and PA. So you can put in the machine at zero degree and then rotate the gantry at 180 degree. So currently we have about 15 specialists in oncology uh, practicing here in Dar es Salaam and we have 17 residents who are training in oncology. Uh, some of these are Tanzanians. We also have a handful of foreign students from Kenya, from Congo, from Rwanda and currently one from Ethiopia as well. We're hoping that this training is going to increase speciality in oncology care to other parts of East Africa as well. As our first time participant in these um, clinical oncology training, 
it has been stressed and has come out very, very important that we need to raise the index of suspicion, diagnosis and referral right at the sub-county hospitals, which happens to be one of our low-level low level hospitals, as we refer the patients far up to the tertiary facility so that we are able to get um, the patients at an early stage of disease as opposed to stage 3 and stage 4. I used to get cases which have similar symptoms to the most common cases like tuberculosis. Like a patient would come with enlarged lymph nodes. Previously, this patient would be started on antitubercular drugs. Ever since the training, early diagnosis has always been on my mind. So I've been able to capture a few cases where instead of starting them on antitubercular drugs, you'd put this patient, you'd get some proper investigations, particularly fine needle aspiration. You detect this patient as lymphoma, refer the patient for early management. What I found here was that the training of the doctors was outstanding. They weren't lacking in any knowledge. They knew exactly what they would want to do and they knew what they didn't have available to them. And they were very keen to make the best use of their skills. And it was a, it was a very exciting experience to see how we could empower those people to use the skills that they already, already had. Having worked and collaborated with medical colleagues throughout these two courses that I've now been um, fortunate enough to have participated in that I feel hugely positive about the future here. I think that um, everybody is, is aspirational, everybody is doing um, the best and over and above what they, what they can do at the moment um, and I, I foresee a future where there is going to be greater awareness of cancer on the ground level and people will be referred quicker and outcomes um, will improve when we have improved capacity to treat people. During this training, one of the things that was hugely stressed upon and we actually had enough hours in terms of teaching through that was communication skills. How do we communicate to our patients to help demystify the myths that come with diagnosis of cancer? Majority of Tanzanians live in rural areas and that's where the problem is. So once we get these people, once we get the cases from rural areas, then we'll be able to save more lives in a timely manner, timely diagnosis. As a cancer survivor myself, this is very close to me. And I remember when I arrived here in August, I participated in the Breast Cancer Walk with the Ocean Road Institute. And I was very sad to see how many pink t-shirts there were. And I hope that people like you, EADP, British Council, Royal College of Physicians, doctors from uh, East Africa is going to help people like me to help um, raise awareness of this awful disease but also to help people like me survive. So thank you. In oncology, in cancer, as a doctor, as a caregiver, you will never walk alone. You must have three points. Teamwork, holistic approach, consultation and the stage management of the cancer cases.